Atlanta, Georgia, February 2021. James Hagler Jr. is at a fight promotion party featuring many of the fighters that will be participating in the first ever Sugar Burt Promotions Vegas and Atlanta fight card. This would be his second professional bout and his first fight in his home city. Even though this energy was great and the anticipation building, James would encounter a devastating blow leading up to the fight. Uh, I knew my coach was sick, Coach Lloyd was sick, but I didn't know too much of my grandfather being sick. And then the news when it hit, I thought somebody was playing with me. Like I didn't. One of my cousins sent it to me with like an article. It was like, "Is this true?" And I was at my other cousin Jay house when I found out. I thought I looked at him. I was like, "Bro, I think somebody playing with me." Like, who, why the fuck would somebody play like that? Then kind of find out it was it was true. And at that moment, I was like shocked. I didn't know what to think. I couldn't really grasp it. We break our evening of college hoops coverage to pass along some sad news in the world of boxing. Former middleweight champion Marvin Hagler has died. Hagler is considered to be one of the greatest middleweight fighters to ever enter the ring, holding the undisputed middleweight title from 1980 through 1987. In his career, Hagler sported a career record of 62-3-2, including 52 knockouts. Hagler's 78% knockout percentage is the highest of anyone in middleweight history. Hagler was just 66 years old. Uh, training was real difficult. I couldn't really even stick to my regimen. Like when I found out my grandfather fought, died, I couldn't watch none of his fights. Like that's how I study and prepare myself for my fight and stuff like that. But I couldn't watch nothing like that. I didn't want to cry or feel sad. Like that whole training cramp was kind of really. It was very. It was very hard and kind of miserable. Cause I was dealing with so much pain that I was trying to hide and try to be mean for a fight. So that that training camp, I really didn't like it too much. It's fight night, and James is locked in, ready, focused. It's almost time to step into the ring and represent the Hagler legacy. It's been a tough road leading up to the fight, but the time has come to put up or shut up. The day of the fight, I was thinking about my grandfather, and like just real sad for real, just because he had, it was fresh. He had passed on the 13th. My fight was on the 20 with the 27th. So that day, was, it was still fresh on my mind. Really, I couldn't think about nothing else. I was real sad that day. Even coming out to the fight, when they was announcing it and letting everybody know I was coming out to fight, I had kind of like tears in my eyes. In the fight, like I said, I wasn't really myself in that fight. I was really emotional, so I was in there fighting. I wasn't trying to box. I wasn't even in a place to really be in that fight from the get-go anyway. With the fight, it went, I went on to win a unanimous decision throughout the fight, but I wasn't really too much proud of my performance in that fight, though, because of the stuff I was going through with my grandfather passing, Coach Floyd passing, 
it was just too much going on, too much to really bear and sit there and train and try to sit there and fight with somebody. So just thinking about my grandfather and all the hard work that I put in, like I had to at least get a W for him. So that I had to just bite down and continue to push and get and pull it off for real. Fighting at home for the first time, I had my family together. Matter of fact, that was the first time in a long time that my family was together. Like all the hagglers, and my mom and stuff since we was in that big house down there um, by Holyfield. That was the first, so that was a good feeling. And actually, my Nana came out to see me fight. She hasn't been nowhere. So I'm talking about like, she ain't went nowhere. So that was very, I was very proud of that. Like I had my whole family together for the first time in years. Even folks from Boston came down. Like that was a, that, that after the fight, when I seen them, I kind of start feeling better.